Good morning everybody, how we all doing? Hello Millie, hello. <laughs> Let's get into today's video. video please can I ask you to press that thumbs up the like button subscribe button if you haven't already so and my notification bell so you don't miss any further uploads so as you can guess I've got Millie with me and it's only one other place that we are at and she's not a happy girl yep we're back here again I'm not having much fun with the animals lately am I in fact um so I had taken a few days off vlogging because there was an emergency in the family and I can't really discuss that because certain people uh, watched my videos and what stirred the pot. Hello! Should we go see what they've got to say? Don't worry, she has got some water and the windows are open. Um, yeah, so she's going to take a look at today a paw and also Found a lump under her arm. Uh, it's a bit squishy, so I don't think it anything serious. It's more like a cyst. Uh, is it a cyst or what do you call them? I don't know, but it, oh, hopefully it's nothing to worry about. Anyway, guys, I will catch up with you a little bit later. So, guys, I'm back oh, to everyone. I mean, I don't know why I'm saying guys. Everyone, I'm back home from the vets. Has anyone ever told the uh, animal to vets, aka a, a, a dog? And they're like, oh, she had a nervous poo. I'm like, oh, uh -huh. oh my lord, thank God I took baby wipes with me because I thought I, I always took a pack of baby wipes now with me and some doggy bags. Thank God I did that because I had to pick it up and I cleaned it. And I was just about to go and take it outside to the bins. She got cold and I went, one minute. So, thank God. Goodness, they're gonna. So the lump under her arm is a fatty lump. They said that's good. Number two, a claw. I think they're gonna sort out when she's on the under anaesthetic. I think it is when they do. And then the third one is her teeth. So when she gets knocked out, knocked out. You know what I mean? Anaesthetic. They're gonna clip her claws for me, and they're gonna remove some teeth, clean the teeth. And it's going to cost me around £300 now. It's better than hey, the shot of 800 I don't mind. I can say it look like. So she's not getting that operation till end of next month because the, obviously the PDSA are busy. And they said it's 300 quid, but whatever you can afford. And I'm like, I don't mind paying 300 It's just 800 quid. I want a final paying. I mean, you do anyway for your animals, but I just could never get the funds together. Um... So, I know you have to pay donations, and I'm not too sure how much it is now to just even be looked at by a vet. So, I just paid a £40. Is that about right? And, well, she seemed happy enough anyway. So, the receptionist, anyway, that took the pay. Oh, thank you very much. Um, as for her eyesight, there's nothing really they can do. But they said if I did, it'd be like £4,000. I'm like, oh, no, she goes, but she's managing all right. I mean, I suggest she's just banging into a few things, but. And you know what, I'm actually tempted to buy. <laughs> I saw it on my Facebook, I don't know why. I think as soon as you look at something, why is it always magically popping up on your Facebook? So <laughs> hey, what's the matter? You're so fraught. Um, so I looked at dog, prams for dogs. <laughs> but then I thought, oh, what do you call them? People who use them on the beach or when they're going on like camping trips. It's like a... It's got four with it. Oh, what do you call it? I don't really call them, but you can put, you know, like American kids they have those. If you see Matilda, where she, that little trolley thing she pulls to get behind her with books, but they do one, and I don't know where it is. And I thought, do I buy one of them? So when I'm out and about, I can, she, when she gets tired, I can stick her in one of them or a dog pram. 
she does need to lose weight as well. I'm like, but obviously not being able to take her for a, few, a walk for the past few days because of her family commitment that's been. And I know you got. Know, she does get let out. I've just not been able to do what I need to do, and I'm still trying to catch up on some sleep. But yeah, I'm off to go to a hospital to pick some up and then I'm going to go to my mum's for a few hours and then probably going to see my auntie. So I'm just going to leave you at that today because as you can both tell, I'm back under my eyes. And Bella's off into the kitchen again. She's doing really well actually. So I'll catch you in the next video guys. Please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button if you haven't already and that notification bell. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.